Truckers, we back for another vid. Bad man. <clears throat> that fine cut, it's got that grizzly one green fine cut. Came from the dip in with it. Real shit, grizzly one green, long cut. But, um, we got bored, so I started thinking about what we were going to talk about in our dip videos. Um, we decided to talk about how we've gotten caught dipping. Um, Hold on, I got a test. Um, anyways, I guess we're going to start with mine. Um, I was, what, about 12? I'm I was about 12 years old, and um, I'd been dipping for a little bit. I didn't really get caught with a dip in. Um, my mom had heard from some of her friends that they had seen me with a dipping at the racetrack. And um that's pretty much how I got caught with the first time. Ever since then, my mom's caught me. Well then looking for spit bottles, empty dip cans, just crazy stuff, man. Um You know what I just remembered? What? We should have kept our stack of dip and swallowed. That's bottle. what I said last night. Um that big that big old box. Yeah. But I have about seven inch ones at the house, so I could buy them over and just kept piling shit, up. Man. Anyways, um <clears throat> I guess we can talk about breaking breaking the news to your parents that you do. Um what I did is before my parents knew that I did, I told my mom and you gotta keep in mind I was like eleven. I told my mom, um that I wanted to start carrying around some of my stepdad's MV dip cans in my back pocket so I could have a ring for my holy jeans. So she said, all right, you know, I told her I wasn't dipping, I just wanted to do it so I could have the ring in my back pocket. Um, she, so she went along with it and um, it worked out for about a week. And then it just got more frequently where I was wearing it in my back pocket and she just thought it was gonna be a stage. And uh, I was going to school one day, and I had it in my back pocket. I didn't realize it because, I mean, I went a week with having it in my back pocket with no worries about her saying anything. And she was like, uh, pull out that can of dip in your back pocket. It was my can of dip, full can. That's the first time I ever got caught with dip on me. But I've been, ever since then, I've been caught with dip in spit bottles, everything. The main thing is, once your parents find out, and if they're kind of strict like mine, the more they catch you, the less they care. That's pretty much what it boils down to. I mean, they're going to know the older you get, the less they can stop you from dipping. <clears throat> Y'all guys? <laughs> When's the first time you got caught? First time I got caught was... Well, I mean, I don't really think I've been caught with a dip in, like, in my mouth, not in my mouth, but it was actually last Friday, um, there were two spitballs in my closet, and, um, my dad walked in there while I was at school, you know, get my education on, and having me a good day, and you know, get my education on, and I come back, and everything's perfectly fine, Dad don't say anything about it, walk in my room, close the doors wide open, and the spitballs are gone, so, automatically I knew he was in there, and he got them out, and, um, which, he knew that I've already, you know, been dipping for a while, it's been, what, Jordan, three years, two years, two years? two years since I met him, so, and ever since I met him, he's the one that got me started on this crap, but, um, he didn't say anything, because he knew I'd been dipping, but, uh, that's pretty much it for me, because, you know, like he said, the less, you know, the, the less that, or the more you get caught, the less that they care. So, what about you?
about you, Jordan? Um, say about last year. But yeah, it was last year. Um, sit in late class, and uh, you know, I just got back from lunch, so I put a dip in, spitting in a Coke bottle or a Coke can, acting like I was drinking it, and uh, substitute teacher came walking over. I saw that I had a dip in, so you know. My first reaction was to swallow it, dude. Now, Grizzly Little Green is not the easiest stuff to swallow. <laughs> I've not puked, but I felt like I was going to. It was very, very harsh. <laughs> That's about all I got to say. Anybody want to add anything? Um, good way to get away with it. If you ever get rode up with dipping at school, um, some schools you know are different from others, but I got rode up one time for having dip, and um, my mom, you know, the ride up got sent home. My mom got to it before I could, and um, it said carrying tobacco or something like that, and uh, she asked me what that was about. I told her my buddy Chris handed me the can of dip to hold while he went into the bathroom right quick and she believed it so I mean if it doesn't say that you were dipping in class you're smart enough to make them an excuse to get away with it um, If y'all want us to talk about something specific, leave it in the comments. Um, if any of y'all know how to make a website, hit us up, we'll make a website. Um, that's pretty much it. We just started this, so uh, it's starting to be like almost a daily thing, so there will be more videos just about every day. If not, just about every week because Tanner over here doesn't live with us, so um, he's the one that's making the videos right now. Um, well, I mean, I pretty much live over here. I mean, I'm over here every single weekend. Just about. I about not made it over here this weekend because I had a lot of crap going on, but <clears throat> I did anyways. I guess I was fine. I keep spitting and it keeps coming down my mouth and I'm getting pissed. But uh, I guess that's pretty much all we gotta say. Just uh, subscribe and uh, like our channel. And, um, Hit us up with them comments. Tell us what y'all want us to talk about. We out. <laughs>